Well, I'm back again with another bike. I'm determined to find the right one. This one is the Engwe P20. As you can see, there's a picture of it there. So, all the specifications will be in the link that I'll provide in the description. What I can tell you is this one is legal for these roads in this country. 250 watt motor, no throttle, speed limited to uh, I think 15 miles an hour. So you've got no issues with legality, unlike some of the others. So I'm going to get it unpacked, the usual thing. I'll do the time lapse, um, unpacking and building it. I've got the bike stand ready there, hopefully. I think I might go on the stand, might. If not, I'll do it. I'll just do it on the floor. So, <clears throat> I like the look of this one. I say that with all of them. I do actually really like all these bikes. But yeah, I'm determined to find the best one. And because this is legal, that's, that's a head start. Right. it after a few things to note um, number one this front wheel here this screw thread is longer on one side than the other so on the long side you put the normal nut and the covered nut goes on the short side with nuts I'll put the mud guard on in a minute oh that's broke <laughs> so that just goes through there and that goes that way it goes on that way Unlike the last Engway bike I built, this handlebars are on properly this time. Because basically they were attached. That must be uh, maybe the throttle cable. I don't know, I didn't think it had a throttle this, but anyway. It's still only 250. The chain, right, is a belt drive chain. Unusual you might say. But I've seen more and more of these around. Quite efficient, you know. Your big gnarly teeth. Nice and quiet as well when you're pedaling. No chain sounds, you don't need to oil it. There's a lot of benefits. We'll see, we'll see if I like it. Engwe, nice finish. This is the matte grey. This is where you carry it, this is the folding mechanism here. I'll do that later. This is the battery on the back, it's not a big massive battery. It's not got a huge range this. Um, what you get with it, you get a pump, toolkit, a bell. The pedals obviously I'll put them on. You get a spare set of brake pads. Actually two sets of brake pads, spare. You get a fuse replacement fuse. Okay. Charger in there. There's a rack on the back for your shopping or your tent or whatever. Didn't fit on the um, bike frame, on the bike stand. Saddle looks like your standard racing saddle, nice and padded. Easy to adjust. Reflector, reflectors. I know we take them off. Yeah, the folding mechanism for the front. Folds down like that. There you go. Obviously, this folds in half. I'll do that in a minute. I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> Everything is difficult with one hand. Right, so I need to adjust that to my height. It's far too high. So that's the bike, anyway. Right, well, get a light on the front. Don't think you get a brake light on this one. Hello. Uh, I'll have to find out what these are. These white things. They might be lights. But yeah, 250 watt motor. We'll be trying it out. 
Just need to get it built for now. So there you go. I mean the style. You either like that style or you don't. I quite like it. The 20 inch wheels. And we've got the, the controller on there. This will be your, this will be your mild uh, indicators. That's what they are. <laughs> indicators. Left and right. I think a brake light would have been better. A rear light and a brake light might have been a better idea. But you know. So that's the first look at the bike. It didn't take long to build. It comes pretty much assembled. All I had to put the saddle and the handlebars in and the wheel. That's all I had to do. Put the mudguard on. That's a tiny job. So there, you get the pedals on and then we'll we'll give it a go. Just a word on how to take the battery out. Get a set of keys with it. Turn it. Comes out. Charge it up. Right. Charged up, come back. Seat it. Well, that just clicks in. <laughs> and it's locked. It will not come off unless you unlock it. It will click in, but it will not come off. I think I'll unlock it like that. So, yeah, so I'm going to charge this up and then we'll have a ride. It's not that bad. It's a nice light bike. So, I've put a bit of charge in. It took about half an hour. There's a button on. That's how on here. On this side, that's the battery. That's the battery charge port. And on the other side, oh, sorry, drop the camera. There's a button here, like a, a flap. You lift that, and this is on and off. See, on, off. So it's on at the minute. So if, unless you press that, you'll not get any power. Just cover that up, rain proof, splash proof. And once it's powered up, button on the top. Press and hold, you see that? Take the plastic off. Nice bright display, small but bright. Kilometers now long enough to change that. This will be pedal assist here. So up and down. That's pedal assist off. One, two, three. That goes up to three. <laughs> Indicators, right? <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's necessary, but it's a little gimmick in it. Put the bell on, there's a bell supplied. That is a throttle. This is for, right, I've worked it out. What when I press this, the dashboard here, you can see it changes to a man pushing a bike. Right, so if you want to push it, if you want to push it anywhere, like up a hill, for example, this will help you. You press that, you press that, and it, um, you walk with it. It doesn't go flying off. So that's the, that's the walk assist. Yeah, that's alright, that's good. Uh, I just need to change that to two kilometres, I'll have to look how to do that. To miles per hour. There's brakes. i work out which one's on the right and which one's on the left. Oh, it has got a brake light. Oh, they are brake lights. Ah. Oh, that's good. I thought they might be lights. So how do you put the lights on? I'll have to come back and let you know how you put the lights on. You know, I'm not sure. Oh, this just scrolls through the menu on the, the dashboard here. Odometer. Miles have done. I'll have to work out how to put the lights on. Must be a way to do it. Press and hold both of them. Don't know. 
I'll work it out. Anyway, anyways, next up is a little ride. Well, here we are. Out by the coast. All on the bike. Nice and comfortable. See, I've turned these. So your palms are nice and uh, flat on there. Good access to the brakes. Hydraulic brakes. Got this set on pedal assist. So that's off. One, two, pedal assist three, right? We've got four bars on the battery. I've done 10 mile on it today. So we're gonna go off up here. If we do a bit of filming while crashing. <laughs> These cars get past. Another close pass. Nice. What we've got. Set off. Straight away, the pedal assist kicks in. So smooth. Listen to there's no noise whatsoever. That belt drive's amazing. It's really windy, but I'm not struggling. I don't want to get carried away with one hand filming. Yeah. Pull up to uh, change the camera position. I want a little bit of rough terrain here. Bumpy stuff. Ooh. Gets along, it just pulls well. You just have to do a little bit of pedaling and it's off. Goes up to, uh, takes up to 15 miles an hour. If you go over, like if you want to pedal faster than 15 miles an hour, that's up to you. But this is limited for the power assist. Ooh, oh, that was a bit bump, which is, um, that's part of the EU regulations. It's limited at 15 miles an hour. But like I say, if you're pedaling harder, that's you putting the work in, not the motor. So you can go as fast as you want if you're pedaling it. But yeah, it's good. It's not bad on this bumpy stuff. Still doing well. Still on four bars. really windy, I'm into a headwind here. But, ooh, here we go, wee. I'm into a headwind, but there's no effort. Know what I mean? Look, I'm not even out of breath. 
So here we are. Ah, we've done a few miles. I've turned it off. Done about five mile. Doing well. The nice tyres taking the terrain well. The battery's lasting. Nice and quiet and smooth. So we just come down to the lighthouse has been refurbished. Do you know this lighthouse? But yeah, this bike's doing well. Ugh. So we're gonna go back right as far as you can see there. About four miles. <coughs> Just sitting here, reading through the book. The weight with the battery, 18.5 kilograms. Now that is not heavy. It'll take up to 120 kilos. 20 inch tyres. Um, belt drive, maximum speed 25 kilometres an hour. That's the 15 miles an hour. If you go over 15, all right, if you if you start pedaling, even if you pedal quick over 15, it starts slowing you down. I think it applies the brakes. You know, it's got the brake light and the indicators on it. Um, the range, they reckon 100 kilometers with assist mode. You know, every time you don't use assist mode, you're adding about five mile onto that. So that's 60 miles. It's a lithium one piece battery. 250 watt, like I said, it's, uh, it meets the EU regulations. The voltage is 36 volts. Um, LED lights, yeah. And the charger, 2 amp. You've got all these, you can change it to kilometers if you need to. Into the menu, you press the two, the uh, the plus and minus on there, you press them two together, you get into the sub menu. Yeah, this just shows you how to set it up. It's good, you know. I think e bikes are very useful. Troubleshooters, you got warranty, it's got 12 month warranty on it. 12 month warranty on the chassis and the forks, handlebars, the folding riser, which is that thing under the bars. In the saddle tube, 12 month warranty. Tyre's got one month warranty. The saddle, three months. Everything else, six month warranty. Wow, that's not bad, is it? So it's worth getting the warranty. Fill that in and send it off. Just in case, you know. In case you go a bit mad on the trail and bump it or whatever. And it's like a... It's a classic design of a bike. I mean, the little wheels, the 20 inch wheels. I don't know what it is about them. They're so much fun to ride. <laughs> oh, I like it. The pedals, the pedals folded. I'll show you that. The folding pedals, yeah. And the next thing to show you, when I get back to me laboratory, or the garden, I'll show you how it falls in half. I'll show you how it falls up. I'm not sure if I've shown that or not. But yeah. All in all, another impressive bike. Look, this is this is little things, little details like that, little guard against bashing the gears. There's one at the bottom there. That's when you sit it down. It doesn't damage the bottom bracket. Listen to that belt. <laughs> I'm not used to that, but. It's lovely and quiet when you're riding. Right, just sitting here, waiting for the sun to go down. Angry P20. Oh, I'm nearly back. Thoughts are, it's a nice, quiet, comfortable ride and it's just got that right amount of pedal assist you're still doing a lot of the work but in headwinds it carries you which is good and on little hills and um, inclines if you need it it's there pushing you along 
Take a seat, set it to one, two or three. Obviously the lower the number there, the more work you're doing. This is good for keeping you fit. Number three if you're not fit. So we'll stop, we'll stop the test here. Uh, if I don't fall off, I'm coming on now a bit. Right, we'll just stop the test there and then we'll come back and we'll fold it up. See how the folding mechanism performs. So to fold it, this bracket here. Push it. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've come up now, Rock. Push that, right? Pull it. And then. Grab it. Get your pocket stuck on the suit. Just fold in nicely. And then rest it on that. Put it under there. Pull that out. I think maybe you meant to put the uh, other ball down first. Fall flat. You just clip that up, down, right down there. Now he's putting down by the wheel here. Right now for it now. That'll be easier. That'll be better. <coughs> so here we go. Angui P20. Nice little bike. Just has a right nice little ride out of there. Good fun. <clears throat> like I say, they reckon 100 km range, 60 mile range on a full battery. Ooh. The battery just comes out of there. It's got the keys. Is here. Oh, the light's fading. There you go. You just turn it, pull it out. Pop it in, lock it. I take, recommend taking the keys out because they rattle about. I'll just keep it in front of us. I'm going to store it. Good. I like it. Another good bike. <coughs> <coughs> 